What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! <sighs> Finally back. It feel like I've been gone for 30 years. Now, all just aside, everybody, man, I know it's been a couple of days. I don't know what I'm saying. The YouTube community was dry without your boy Dut Reacts. I know, it's all good, it's all good. Now, it was funny because I stumbled upon doing some laundry today, and I noticed there was this one particular shirt. If you haven't noticed already, I have on already. And it took me a second to uh, realize where this shirt came from. Uh, first, last year, I remember it was like, I think it was like a, um, a supporter or whatever. He came up and was just giving me his merch. So, you know what I'm saying? I was going to show love and all that stuff. But then it hit me. Almost a year ago to this day, FTC, man. You know what I'm saying? It's literally a long time. So, a year has passed by since the specific internet outbreaker spaz out happened. Now, basically, long story short, you guys know with the RA situation, it was way old, you know what I'm saying? Um, way, you know, guys already know, that's all done and did with, man, but it's always a good thing, um, because one thing my dad always told me is that just realizing your mistakes and realizing how much of a fool you looked on certain occasions, and the best part in growing as a man or even as a woman nowadays, realizing the mistakes you made and just laughing at them, man. And I just feel like this is just like the perfect timing. I literally found this. This is the same exact shirt when I had, you know what I'm saying, had my meltdown last year. I was heartbroken, you know what I'm saying? It was the biggest heartbreak of my life, um, you know. But, hey, man, we all live and learn. And it was crazy, man, because I learned so much from this experience. When this first happened, I remember coming back from uh, Sneaker Games, uh, Miami. And, by the way... For you guys that were looking forward for me to be out there in the New Jersey Sneer Games meet and greet, man, I just want to apologize for not um, show showing out out there. I actually missed my flight, and I had to handle a lot of personal business and everything out there, man. Um, but New Jersey, do not ban me from y'all state, man. I promise I'll make it up definitely in the future. Uh, but with that being said, man, uh, I was just really going through a lot at this certain time in my life. I remember drinking. Um, it was honestly my first, first time. You know what I'm saying? Actually getting active with the drink. I would have said, like, because I'm more of a smoker regardless. But you can tell I was starting out drinking. You know what I'm saying? Because I was on that Mike Harden Lemonade. I wasn't even on the Henny React mode. This was like, you're going to notice it's like a little nice, big little thing in Mike Harden Lemonade, man. But anyway, man, um, basically, um, this was on Live Race. And if you guys wonder why I don't be on there no more, I basically got fired from it. Long story short, when I was in the process of moving out to LA, man, I, you know, I told that I wasn't going to be able to stream as much. And then when I tried to come back on stream, I was fired. So that's why you guys haven't seen me stream, you know what I'm saying, at ease through the phone like that, man. But when this games and everything comes out, like 2K19 and everything, um, I'm really going to be back on there. And that's just long story. Uh, BS not going to be uh, aside. Did that make any sense? No, it didn't. Um, so basically, man, this is just like a nice little life lesson, man. And going back, remember, I guess it's like a try not to cringe challenge or something like that, man. Because this is honestly my first time I am going to be watching this full video as a whole. Obviously, I've seen, you know, video clips from people making fun of this situation. And it was crazy because when this first happened, I woke up the next morning. I seen it on the dog, Your Rage's channel. You know what I'm saying? Your Rage is doing a job. I don't ever want FTC to feel like they can, like, um, bash Your Rage. Or, you know, any crazy circumstances happen like this because he's just doing his job you know what i'm saying so it's nothing against him but i remember when it first came out i was just like damn i didn't think it was that big but it was crazy because i knew it was viral and it was so big when i had went to a 2k18 you know what i'm saying community team up last year which was ironic because they didn't invite me to 2k19 this year fuck ronald 2k you suck my dick anyway um i got invited to that last year and i remember like freaking everybody was just like yo flight you gotta chill you can't be spazzing on girls and i was just like Damn, I think I was talking to what's his face, uh, Red City Boy, and he was just like, yeah, bro, I feel you on that, we all been there and done that, bro, they was talking about all the devs was talking about it, that was how bad it was, but, hey, man, all I can do is just sit back and learn, we gonna click on a video and I'm gonna get my just full-on reaction, not the trench challenge, it's 30 plus. You're gonna be my wife one day, you're gonna have, I want you to be the mother of my child, I want you to be Alright, now to address this real quick, everybody, this... When I said this specific part, because this is the only thing, you know what I'm saying, um, my man your age um, left out. When I said about this part with the kid, I was not talking about Ari. I was actually talking about Ty, um, because I actually was just dating her around that time last year because our birthdays just happened. I hate saying our birthdays, just making it seem like we're like together or not. 
I don't have no dreams of that whatsoever, ever, ever again. But, you know, my birthday was on the 7th, and her birthday happens to be on the 7th, too. And we were literally just talking around that time. And I remember coming back home, and I was feeling her vibe at that time. And I was just like, yeah, Ty don't have my kid, but da 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 So I was directing that at Ty. I never planned on having no kid with a girl like Ari, ever. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to also get that straight. Child, right off the jump. To any other girl. The only girl I would say this to is because I felt like I thought she was going to be fucking right. And that was the cloud chasing that stop bitch that I was with the previous time. I thought she was right for me, which turns out she wasn't fucking right for me. She was a fucking cloud chasing that stop bitch that was all in it for a And ladies, please. I know I have my female viewers out there. I just want to let you guys know whatever is going to happen. Because I already know all of this, the nonsense is probably bound to start happening, okay? Please do not judge me. Please do not be scared of me. You can feel free to keep, you know what I'm saying, doing your thing and liking my shit or DMing me or whatever. Call me, you know what I'm saying, poppy, daddy, you know, you know shit like that. that was extremely weird, but, you know, but I just don't want this basically to turn y'all off. I'm crazy. And ever since I did this at this time, I never bashed one single girl ever after this. Even when I had broke up with my last ex, I didn't even bash her. I just did a nice, peaceful, you know what I'm saying, um, story time announcement. And that was just it. I didn't go online and bash her or none of that ish like that. This was just the first in instance and it will be the last instance. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Bitch, I should have left your ass a ring, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck every couple of my fucking life, bitch! Motherfucking million on YouTube, bitch. This motherfucking stupid ass clock just bitch hit me up on my DMs off my shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, yo. Yo, son. I'm not capping, bro. Like, I when I tell you, I haven't sat here and literally watched. This is the first time I'm watching the actual full live stream. You know what I'm saying? It's 30 plus things. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna probably stop it at a certain point. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take as much of this longer. Just mind you that. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to try and get through it. Man, dog, haven't I grown up so much? You know, girls do get to you, man. And even some women. Women can even get out of care. There's all an equal standpoint. The best thing you can do is just learn from situations like that, man. And another thing I knew was serious is my sister texted me the next day. No, two days later. Um, because she watches it too, but she's not like actively, actively on it like every, every, every day. Like some days she'll get her hot streaks and be on it and some days she won't. I remember her saying that even people in my old high school, dog, old high school, bro, bro, just imagine putting yourself in my shoes, dog, a high school you went to, you know what I'm saying, now you're considered the man of the campus now, you know what I'm saying, and they see ish like that, you know, people take their L's, man, and this is definitely one of the greater L's I took, but one thing that separates me from a lot of people in society is that I'm gonna keep pushing through and still work throughout it, man. This is tough looking at. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Shut your ass up. What you really want from me, bitch? I'm so happy you're doing good in life. What the fuck you This really is want tough, from me, man. What? You want my motherfucking guapo, you little stupid ass. Stop chasing ass, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. And you guys can see it's the same shirt and everything. That. Now make sure I motherfucking shit come back to your fucking ass shit. Nice and motherfucking slowly, but motherfucking surely. Oh my gosh, I'm drooling like shit. Fuck. This is so embarrassing. I definitely gotta thank God first and thank FTC as a whole, as a fan base, man, for just. Because one thing I do honestly will agree and say on is that I definitely feel like I'm just one of those people that tend to get away with a lot more stuff than our other person would. Like, I definitely feel like if this was another person, another YouTuber that did this, it probably wouldn't have been, it probably would have been a whole different outcome in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? But thanks to the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? Thanks to FCC understanding certain circumstances, man. It's just crazy, man, because these are some scary ass, like, you know, like, aggressiveness that I'm, I'm, I got going on, man. And I just want to say I was out of character at that time. You know what I'm saying? I would never, no matter what the occasion is, I don't care how bad the female is, I don't care how even bad they do me, I will never let a female take me to this level again. Sometimes situations like this have to happen, you know what I'm saying, in order for you to wake up and just be like, you know, it ain't all that serious at the end of the day. But, wow, haven't I grown up? First of all, 
First of all, shout out to my nigga fucking King Soul for for noticing that shit up front. My nigga King Soul made a whole fucking video talking about this bitch was a clock chaser. Then it was my nigga motherfucking pretty boy motherfucker, pretty boy motherfucking Fredo, aka Fredo two times, who was about to have a beautiful baby girl named Ava with Jasmine. You know what I'm saying? My nigga was a second to come forth and be like, is she using you, my nigga? And still, I was so nonchalant. I was still nonchalant at the fact that she was not using me because I was so motherfucking blind, bro. That's the scary part about love, my nigga. I was so blind, bro. I let this bitch control and manipulate me, my nigga, to think that she was fucking with me. Really, when it was for one fucking thing. Bitch, fuck you, bro. Wow. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. If I ever fucking see you in person, bitch, I will really, I will really fucking catch a case on your fucking ass, bitch. Oh my gosh. Fuck you for fucking coming to my fucking life and taking my fucking fans and motherfucking manipulating their ass, too. How fucking dare you do that shit, bro? How fucking dare you do that shit, bro? Let me catch your ass in fucking person, bro. I fucking swear to God, I will risk going to fucking jail for your fucking ass, bro. I fucking swear, bro. Fuck you, bro. You fucking ass. Oh my gosh, bro. Why the fuck am I drooling like that, bro? That shit's pissing me off, my nigga. I just want to let you guys know that I don't have, you know what I'm saying? Like, people were trying to say, like, this nigga got rabies and shit. Like, no, but I don't know why I was drooling like that, bro. That shit pissed me off looking at that. It's just like, bro, like, I'm trying to look, and the screen's turning blurry every second. It's on your ass, bro. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. <sighs> and last but not least, ladies be like, I like a crazy like nigga. Motherfucking Zeus and motherfucking B Lou, my nigga. I want to motherfucking say, B Lou was the main nigga that made me realize that this bitch was a fucking dot in the clutches. I sat back and I literally, motherfucking, I sat back and I literally noticed this bitch. When I took her to the reality show, when I took her to the reality show in um, 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 ATL the first time, when I was first on a reality show, bro, I noticed this bitch. Look how grimy this motherfucking bitch was, bro. Listen to how grimy this motherfucking bitch was. Shout out to ZS and B. Lou for this shit, because if they did not exist, bro, I would have not took a step into just being like, bitch, fuck you, bro. This is my, 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 name, my nigga B. Lou. I don't know what the fuck juice this nigga has. He can just take anybody's motherfucking girl, apparently, motherfucker. So, this nigga was fucking FaceTiming Ari, bro, while we were beginning to motherfucking take flight to ATL for the reality show. And this bitch Ari thought I didn't fucking notice, bitch. Bitch, I was spilling out all your shit, bitch. You think you're gonna lose in a fucking cloud? You think you're gonna lose in a fucking cloud, bitch? You think you're gonna lose in a fucking cloud, bitch? You think you're gonna lose in a fucking cloud, bitch? I'm not a motherfucking about to come back at you, bitch. And I'm gonna kill your ass fucking slowly, bitch. Oh my gosh, man. This is tough to watch, man. Like, I'm not even trying to sit up here and, like, act shit out or nothing. Like, this shit is really hard. I can't even believe a female took me to this level, man. That is absurd. You gotta... One thing, FTC, man, you gotta give me an applaud right now for the growth and character of me. You know what I'm saying? You've been seeing me get, you know what I'm saying, a couple W's with some ladies, you know what I'm saying, this year. More L's, you know what I'm saying, if anything. But one thing I can say is that... A much more short-term memory. You know what I'm saying? They always say the best shooters in the NBA have a short-term memory. You know what I'm saying? I'm really evolving as a man. I like the man I'm becoming. But damn, bro, I didn't. You bitch! You think I didn't notice that shit, bitch? You think I really didn't fucking notice that shit? Shout out my nigga Zeus and B. Lou on this shit once again. The day I was flying Aerie to fucking ATL for the reality show, this bitch was. FaceTime my nigga B. Lou. My nigga B. Lou. And I act like I didn't notice that shit. I seen this shit the whole fucking time. I peeped the phone and I looked because, like, when I came back, I bought my, 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 I, I supposedly thought, I supposedly thought my ride or die. And you know what I'm saying? Some Mickey D's. Some cheapo shit. Like, five, six, blood, side shit. You feel me? And 
I noticed, like, Ariel was talking, she was like, hold on, fight by the cum or, or like, she was saying some shit, like, she's gonna hide some shit. And I was just like, sitting in the back, I was just like, what the fuck, why, why are you talking like that? <clears throat> why are you talking like that? <clears throat> I noticed my nigga B. Lou. <clears throat> I noticed my nigga B. Lou. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? She was, he was FaceTiming. <clears throat> oh my gosh, bro, my heart hurting, bro. Wow. I was noticing my nigga B. Lou was FaceTiming. Ari, I'm about to take her for a fucking flight to another fucking state. Like, bitch, how fucking grimy are you, bro? Like, I don't want to beat your fucking ass for that fucking shit, bro. But I'm fucking not, nigga. Because I'm fucking on a fucking, 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 bitch. Man, I am lost for all type of words right now. The amount of words I am lost, like I can't even like physically believe that this is even me. I feel like this is another YouTuber. This, there's no way in hell this is flight. You know what I'm saying? There's no way this is flight reacts. There is no way. I just will ignore it. That is not flight reacts, man. Wow. God is amazing, man. God is amazing. I'm like literally on a fucking damn damn scale like fuck that shit bro you need to get your ass beat bro how fucking grimy can your fucking ass be bro you got me fucked up nigga go sit there and have fucking embarrassed on social media bitch i work too fucking hard so what the fuck i do bro the fuck bitch bitch you don't fucking know me nigga bitch bitch i'm in a fucking bathroom so i'm fucking pray to get my ass out of fucking nine to five bro you don't fucking know me nigga don't fucking come in my life and don't fucking manipulate my ass, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. If I fucking say, I swear on everything. I swear on everything, bro. Everything is coming out right now. High and drunk words are sober fucking thought. If I ever see this girl, bitch, I will catch a fucking case on this damn girl, bro. I will catch a case on this fucking girl, bro. I swear to fucking everything, bro. I swear to everything, bro. You are a fucking grimy ass bitch, bro. I've been peeping with the fuck. Goodness gracious, I can't, I don't know, I don't even know, FTC, if I can last any much longer. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I think I might just tap out, FTC. Maybe let's go to the middle, maybe I'll calm down, because at this point, um, how many times have I said F you, bro? Like, imagine somebody having... A drinking game, you gotta take one shot for every time I say F you. Like, you literally are gonna be dead on the fucking ground. Fuck you, man. Hey, I'm still saying it! Oh my gosh! Fucking jump, bro. Shout out to all the real names I know. It's a shot. Fucking jump, man. I'm fucked up, bro. I'm fucked up, man. Oh. That bitch showed her true fucking colors the week we went. To yeah, man. I think. I think, you know what I'm saying? The white rag is waving. I don't know if. Anybody humanely possible is able to sit here for 30 minutes without cringing, without clicking off. You know what I'm saying? At a certain point. Um, I definitely want to say it's one of those lessons in my life I learned. And it's just nothing where I can just do but to laugh at it, man. Um, it just shows you that you just don't fall in love hard. But it's crazy because it's hard to sometimes because I'm a Leo. You know what I'm saying? I was born in August. Leos naturally, you know what I'm saying, um, fall in love really easily. Um, I just feel like for the toxin reasons and everything, man, I think it's more, um, and don't take offense to the fan or the supporter. I don't like to just call my, 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 um, my supporters, my fans sometimes, man. Um, but rather the supporter, uh, who gave me the shirt. I just feel like as, you know, um, on a positive standpoint and no, no homo for the guy viewers out there. I think it's just best option for me to, you know, get rid of it and, you know, forget about the past. When it comes to uh, this shirt, because it takes me back to a bad memory, you know what I'm saying, of what happened. And I can definitely say Flight Crew, man, um, at least for my um, good, and at least to move on. And it's kind of like, you know, burning off hard on thoughts movement, and never to let a female do you like that again. I think it's only right, you know what I'm saying. 
I think that's right there where it belongs. You know what I'm saying? Um, to the person who gave me the shirt, man, don't take no offense at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're able to reach out to me in email or anything, um, definitely uh, hit me what, what your shirt costs and everything. Because I know you gave it to me for free, but I know probably you're just selling it, you know what I'm saying, to other people. Um, I'll definitely um, have no problem, you know, exchanging no funds to you just off of just my love. But I just feel like something so toxic and memorable like that shouldn't even be in my drawers. You know, I thank, thank y'all, man, for just never judging me on certain things. Uh, when it comes to basketball, it's something else. Y'all know how to behave with that. But, hey, man, until next time. <laughs> Flight team stand up! What are you doing with your life right now, man? Wake up. Stop being a square. How you gonna sit up here and click on the video? How you gonna sit up here and click on anything on my social media without copying you some merch? Stop sleeping. Top up, flightreacts.com.